All right, y'all. So supposedly LeBron got his own museum, the LeBron James Museum. They calling it the House of Bron or House of LeBron. So let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think of that. Uh, y'all think it's too early for him to have like a museum? Like, he's alive and he's not retired or anything. So I don't know why he has a museum. Uh, I don't know. But uh, even like Jay-Z, he has a museum. Like what? But I don't know. Maybe I'm hating. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what y'all think about it. Uh, let's get into it though. This marks the first time back to Cleveland since leaving in 2018 after covering the Cavs for six years. We're trying it. We're trying it. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I started my broadcasting career here, of course. They took a chance on me, and they shaped me. They built me into to the individual I am in this industry, and it's so awesome to see so many familiar faces that are still here. Allie, I'm Mike. I'm your stage oh, manager. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. I know you know me. For Allie Clifton. Reminiscing can last only so long as she turns her focus to reporting on the Lakers' hometown hero. On this very day, the LeBron James Museum, House 330, Apartment 602 in downtown Akron, Ohio, opened up an exclusive exhibit showcasing all the artifacts. So what he turned an apartment complex into a museum? Is that what she just said? I think I missed it. For the king, leadership continues off the court the next day as he takes his teammates on a tour of Akron. And his foundation spectacular house 330 an innovative i never been up there you know i don't live too far so i never been up there to check out like saint vincent saint mary or his any of that stuff he got going on up there of course i've been to cleveland and everything but yeah i had to check that out students i would like to welcome you all to house 330. house 330 kind of goes more into things that can evolve into uh, adulthood for people, uh, such as getting jobs and having uh, places of employment, uh, having places to go and uh, visit and just bring the community together. The space leading into LeBron James's home court museum is lined with artwork inspired by James's inspirational path and historic career. Do you see that detail? Have you ever seen the true picture, the actual pictures that these replicate? Amazing. He's definitely one of the most talented yeah, persons I've ever met. That's pretty dope. Like that painting. That's really dope. So just a little quick, uh, little quick, little background on this door. Uh, when me and my mom finally, finally, like found a stable place to live, um, we moved into an apartment called Spring Hill Apartments. Our apartment number was uh, six zero two, and this is like the door that we're going to enter to uh, our apartment uh, that we spent a lot of time there. It was the first time I got a key to a place. Um, this is the beginning of the museum. So we open the door and... He look way too tall to be in there, man. That's crazy. This is the kitchen, the living room. This is the t TVs that we had at the time. Go ahead and uh, look around. That's actually pretty dope. I used to get on my mom a lot about saving everything. You know, since I was like a, you know, started first playing sports, a lot of stuff in there is because of the stuff that she saved. I remember that LeBron told us that sometimes he would say, Mom, why are you bothering me so much for all of this stuff? And because she always wanted to keep everything. And she said, hey, that's just part of being a mom. I want all the trophies. I want all the jerseys. I want all the shoes. One day you will appreciate this. And look, mm. Gloria was right. This is in his football career life. Yeah. Um, at St. Vincent St. Uh, Mary. Where he not only played quarterback, but he played wide receiver. Amazing. He definitely could have went to the NFL. Every day we packed him, I packed him a lunch. He either had a park lunch or the East Cream Pies, oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> probably the smallest place. Oatmeal cream pies, undefeated, boy. All the time with uh, his high school friends. Um, I actually had a bedroom that I kind of got put out of because it was just so many kids. They had to have a space, so. Like, okay, it's fine. Have the actual apartment that was the first one that they felt like, you know, was theirs, uh, that he was able to consider a home and a place uh, that he was comfortable. Uh, that was a pretty powerful experience to be able to walk through that. This is where it all began, the little, little basketball hoop. I'm thinking it's too tall for him to play with, right? So I put it down. He falls out. Act a fool. <laughs> She's the matron. 
matriarch, man. She's <laughs> she kind of holds that family. Mama Brian. Enter the closet. Another place. Another part of the journey. We move into my high school years. Come on in, Mike. Oh, that's dope. So it just give you different sections of like his his life growing up. James from the Sports Illustrated cover story, uh, the chosen one. But when you actually go into the museum, you see all of the things from his remarkable high school career. And that high school career was something that was just insane. It was unbelievable. So I went to Philly, met Cole for the first time, and he gave me the red, the red wine blue. One. I wore them the next day. My mom had trophies when I was like, you know, my first basketball game ever, my first football game ever, and she got like trophies when I won MVP when I was like nine years old and things that cool and that I hadn't seen in years. I didn't even know she still had it. That's cool, man. And AD, he would smile and shake his head, and he was as impressed as anybody. The whole high school part of me would be empty. His growth spurt was his junior year. What? He was wow. Really what LeBron had done. I did not know AD wasn't ranked. Especially the high school portion of it. Uh, so it was pretty cool to have a, a front row seat uh, to that part of the element alongside Anthony Davis. That's really crazy how much a player can grow in that short amount of time. Like he, had, he said he hit his growth spurt when he was a junior in high school. And I guess he took off like his senior year probably because, man, that's wild. Look how good he is now. That's crazy. So there's a tote board when you get near the end of the museum that actively changes all the numbers that he puts up. They're hanging up the numbers after every single game. James's exhibits are a kingly display featuring memorabilia and the many forms of multimedia that's captured the life and career of one of the greatest athletes of all time. A triumph that all ties back to Akron. That's dope. It's pretty cool that I've been able to do some things in, you know, in my life to be able to bring back to my community, continue to highlight my community and make my community a place where people want to visit, want to see, and want to be proud of it. You know, and uh, I am. Dope. That was a dope video, man. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all thought about it. I'll see y'all next time.